Hey everyone, it's Gio and welcome. <laughs> we are sitting here tonight on a beautiful evening, February 1st, 2019, and we're out here in front of the Broward Center for the Performing Arts. And tonight we're actually going to go see the, uh, the wonderful show Jekyll and Hyde being produced by the Slow Burn Theater, which is a local repertory theater company here in South Florida. And uh, Jekyll and Hyde happens to be one of my favorite musicals of all time. I saw the original production on Broadway saw the touring production so I've seen it a few times so I'm curious to see Slow Burn's take on it and Juan Carlos you've never seen the show no it's my first time it's his first time so I'm gonna reserve and wait until after we're done talking and see the show tonight and let Juan Carlos tell us what he thinks about it um, and now we're also gonna take you inside the theater with us obviously we can't show you any of the show but I want to take you inside because tonight's show is actually being held at the Amaturo Theater uh, which is the smaller house here at the Broward Center for Forming Arts. And I've done another video previously where I showed you the actual Broward Center. I'll put a link up here for that, and uh, or over here, and you can check that video out. Uh, but in the meantime, we're excited about seeing the show, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah? We are. And uh, this will be how many shows now for you? I think this is like your fifth type fifth of musical sixth. Broadway type show. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, we're, we're breaking in Juan Carlos and making him a theater nerd. <laughs> what do you like musical theater in general? I like it better now than what I used to. Right, right. So yeah, he's he's learned to appreciate it, so that's a good thing. So anyway, so hang tight, come with us, and we're gonna go inside the theater in a few minutes and uh, we'll let you know what we think. Thanks for watching. We're actually sitting outside of the Broward Center and I thought I'd sort of do a little slow pan here. One of the nice things about this theater is it really sits on one of the waterways here in Fort Lauderdale. And the cool thing about Fort Lauderdale is it is sort of like the Venice of America and the fact that there's canals and waterways all around Fort Lauderdale. And this is a beautiful one. So you can sit out here before the show and watch boats go by and just enjoy a beautiful night. And this is the main entrance here at the Broward Center. And located right here is the All Renee Theater, which is actually the main large house of the Broward Center. And directly across from it is where we're going tonight, the Amaturo Theater, uh, which is a smaller house. And you can valet park your car here. It's a little pricey, $25 it starts. Uh, and there is a parking garage across the street for less money. Right, there's the poster for Jekyll and Hyde. Slowburn Theater Company and it's running here the 31st through February 17th. This is the 1819 Slowburn season. These have already shown. Legally Blonde just ended. Jekyll and Hyde. We got your good man Charlie Brown, 9 to 5, and then they end the season with Priscilla. And then across the street in the main theater, they have Les Miserables. Escape to Margaritaville, Disney's Aladdin, Mean Girls, Come From Away that we just saw in New York, fantastic show, and Bandstand. One of the things that's important with regional theaters and regional professional theaters like the Slow Burn is sponsorships. And this is their nice little poster in the lobby showing all the different sponsors, donors, and then, of course, there is in the lobby a place where if you want to donate, if you want to become a donor of the arts, you can, right here. And this is the Amateur Theater Lobby. Just going to give you a little pan around. Right, so this is the interior of the Amateur Theater. It's a very nice raked house. All right, everybody, we are back home from seeing Jekyll and Hyde, and the Slow Burn Theater production was, <laughs> wow, absolutely fantastic. Yes. It, it exceeded my expectations, because to be honest, I'm a, I was a little worried because I saw the pre-Broadway run of the show, I saw the Broadway run of the show, I saw the national tour of the show. Uh, the original Lucy in the show, Linda Etter, uh, I'm a huge fan of hers. Um, but I can honestly say 
that this slow burn production stands up to the Broadway version. It was fantastic, everyone. So I'm going to let you talk. What do you think about the show? What do you, I mean, you never saw it before, so tell everybody. No, it's my first time seeing this show, and I knew the story because it's a... Yeah, Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah, it's a famous story. And I totally loved it. I mean, the performance, and it was like the the stage and all that was like simple, but it was very well done. Mm -hmm. The performances were amazing. The singing, the voices, the music is beautiful. It's a lot more than I than I had imagined. So yeah, I yeah, I didn't. I purposely I didn't it. tell you a lot about it. I let you listen to. A couple no, of the songs. No, I told you, I don't want to hear all the show before <laughs> I see the show. Yeah, I'm a little guilty of that because I'm a little bit of a Broadway nerd in the sense that I love musical theater. So um, when it comes time to go and to see a show, leading up to the show, I like to listen to the music. He, on the other hand, would rather not listen to it and just sort of experience it for the first time in the theater. So I appreciate that about him. So there's nothing wrong with that. Um but I will say that the three main leads in the show, and let's open the program and give them credit right there. Um, the gentleman who was playing Jekyll and Hyde, his name is Tony Edgerton. What an amazing, amazing performance. His voice is spectacular, uh, and that is not an easy role to play because mm. you're transforming back and forth between both characters. Yeah, uh, yeah, quite the lead. And um, Emma was played by Lindsay Corey. She's got an excellent, beautiful voice, very nice ingenue, uh, and hats off to Carla. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to let you, how do we say her last name? What's Carla, nice, she's Latina. Carla Bordonada. Bueno. She's uh, originally from Puerto Rico, um, living in New York City now, and she's a cabaret performer. Um, and the fact that she really did the role justice, her voice stands up to Linda Etter. Yeah. I would definitely say. Yeah, it was Beautiful up there. Yeah. Beautiful voice. So anyway, this this run of the show runs right now. It started last night and it runs at the Broward Center for the Performing Arts at the Amateur Theater through February 17th. Yes, February 17th. And I would highly recommend if you're watching this video and you're in South Florida or you travel to South Florida, if there's tickets to go see this show, go, go, run, <laughs> go see it. It was fabulous. Uh, the last thing I'll say about it, uh, Juan Carlos alluded uh, the simplicity of it. I, you know, again, I saw the show on Broadway where, you know, they had a lot more money and the sets and everything on Broadway are spectacular. I actually, as a theater goer, appreciated the simplicity of this and the direction of the show and not using huge, sophisticated special effects, but allowing the actors to embody the stage and do a lot with lighting to create the mood. Mm -hmm. And it, they really did a great job of allowing the audience to sort of immerse themselves into the drama of the story uh, through the use of simple sets and lighting uh, and great costumes. So bravo, hats off to Slowburn Theater Company for a job well done. So, yeah, because it's even, even when, you know, given the fact that you know some things that are going to happen, you still have that... <gasps> moment yeah when they do absolutely so, so yeah that was that's definitely credit to all of the actors on stage they gave but amazing I totally love the music <laughs> yeah the music is great so with that being said as we always say happiness, happiness is, is a lifestyle. lifestyle and we really appreciate you guys watching as always if you like what we're doing go ahead and share it with your friends give us a thumbs up a like what else do they need to do subscribe yeah go ahead and hit the subscribe button everyone and thanks, as always, for watching. And until next time, peace out, everybody. Ciao.